is creeping that, and you all know what that means by this sound. Yes, we are playing Star Master for the Atari 2600. The Atari 2600 was all about space and star games, and I have to pull my console out so I can freaking take a look at the game controls. Because this thing uses console controls. Anyway, we're going to start around in it. So right now, we're flying around in outer space. We can shoot stuff. Let's go see what happens. So, left difficulty and right difficulty turns our star map on. Anyway, we can set for hyperspace somewhere, so I think we'll go f to this uh, battle up here. So that's what you do is you use your left and right difficulty switches to turn on your star map, then you go into hyperspace and you have to avoid all these freaking uh, asteroids. Here we are. Now we gotta have a dog fight with this guy. Okay. Oh! You gotta avoid their... This is gonna be a bad, bad fight. I think we got him. If you lose all your shields. Alright. We've got to go up here. I don't think anyone realized how complex Star Master actually is. Ah, oh, here we go. Now we gotta line up with this refueling space station thing. There you go. And now I think we'll go over here and fight this one guy. Woo! And we just took a hit from an asteroid. See, we got him. He's already firing at us. It's so much easier with that tack joystick I used to have. There we go. We got him. Now, if we want to go fix our rear shield, we just go back here again. Asteroids. Let me wait for that space station to get in view. Pull up to it. Come on, let's get a lock on it. Let's get a lock on it. Come on. Come on. There we go. And that's you got a lock on it. Now we're gonna go beat these guys up. Okay, you jerk. Whoa! Ah. And he's refusing to... Ooh, here he is. There you go. Now we'll go to our next battlefield here since we have no damage. So we're using the console switches to do the uh, actual plight sim stuff. Like our little battlefield map. Here he is. You can also blow up their missiles if you just shoot at them. There you go. He's done. I'll go over here. I'll go get this third guy. Here we are. We're gonna blow up some shit. Alright, come back here. 
Yeah, so when the bottom of the screen is red, you're in battle mode. Blue means you're nearing the refueling station. Come on back here. Green means all threats have been neutralized. I'm going to go back here. This thing has, like, worse gas mileage than an International Harvester Scout with a V8. <laughs> a feeling I'm sure many of you are quite familiar with right now, given the gas prices. Alright, let's go land on this. Come on, come on. There you go. And now we're going to go over here and battle these guys. I actually quite like Star Master. It's like just complex enough to be entertaining, but not so complex that you, uh. Whoa! Oh, darn it. Okay, we got him, I think. We just won the game. Uh, Star Master. Anyway, um, we'll see if there are different variations. So there's multiple difficulties here, as you can tell by the star map. You can have this kind of mess, and let's see what happens if we die. So now we got to go back to here. I'd say let's uh, go here. You can see we're encountering way more stuff now. It also allows you a longer campaign, but let's see if the same rules still apply, because all the difficulty in this game has to be done by the game variation. Whoa. So that was Star Master for the Atari 2600. Uh, so creeping that, signing out. This was a nice, sweet, short one.